What's up guys, my name is Jerry, and today we're gonna be looking at some realistic off-season targets for the Phoenix Suns, and we're gonna jump right into the video. Now, Kevin Durant has been on the Phoenix Suns radar the entire off-season after Kevin Durant came out and demanded a trade from the Brooklyn Nets, and he listed the Phoenix Suns as one of his preferred destinations. But with the Phoenix Suns finding a way to make the DeAndre Ayton contract situation work, trading for Kevin Durant will be very unlikely for them now since DeAndre Ayton was most likely going to be a part of a signing trade deal to obtain the superstar but when him signing his new offer sheet he can't be traded for several months so it's time for the phoenix suns to start looking at some more realistic options to make their roster better this offseason now when i look at the phoenix suns and one area that they can improve on i think is perimeter scoring now when i say perimeter scoring i'm not talking about three-point shooting because they have a bunch of guys that can knock down a three-point shot but I'm thinking they need to add another player that's not Devin Booker or Chris Paul that can go out and create their own shot consistently or consistently create their own shots for others. Looking at the Phoenix Suns in the playoffs, whenever Chris Paul and Devin Booker did not have the ball in their hands or whenever Chris Paul and Devin Booker weren't in the game, the Phoenix Suns offense was very stagnant and they couldn't get a lot of things going in the half court. So I think the Phoenix Suns to be looking to bring in a player that can come in and create their own offense and one player i have in mind that i think will make a lot of sense for the phoenix suns is bogdan bogdanovich from the utah jazz and looking at the situation that the jazz are currently in they have made all their players expendable for the trading block, even Donovan Mitchell. So it's looking like they're getting ready for a complete rebuild. So I think this trade would be very possible for the Phoenix Suns. And then also just looking at Bogdan Bogdanovich, his skill set and his game, I think this will be a great match for the Phoenix Suns. And the first thing that's so important to me is the fit. And I think he will fit in really well. And we know Chris Paul and Devin Booker, those are two guys that like to have the ball in their hands quite often so it's very important that they bring in a player that can be effective without the basketball in their hands and Bogdanovich has shown that he could be that guy watching him in Utah he was very effective at cutting he was very effective at running off screens and setting screens and then most importantly he can knock down the three-point shot off the catch from every spot on the court and where it gets even better with a player like Bogdan Bogdanovich whenever he needed to for the Utah Jazz he could come in put the ball on the floor and consistently create his own shot he's become one of the more prolific scorers in the NBA over the last three seasons he's been averaging 18 points per game shooting 44 percent from the field and 39 percent from the three-point line and looking at his skill set is pretty nice he's a three-level scorer he can knock down that three ball off the catch off the dribble he's really good in the pick and roll he can put the ball on the floor pick his spots in the mid-range area and get to that pull up and then he's really good at using his strength and size to get to the rim and finish layups so i would call him a complete three level scorer so i think bringing in a player like bogdanovich will be really good for the phoenix suns now the next player we're going to be looking at is derrick rose from the new york knicks i think he could come in and make the phoenix suns better this offseason i think he would come in and help that bench unit a lot and i also think he would fit well with the phoenix suns offensive style we know they love to run the pick and roll and they love to have great spacing for their pick and roll set and i think derrick rose would be a great point guard for that and he's actually really solid in the pick and roll he likes to come off that screen he still has one of the best mid-range pull-ups in the game today and then he's very great at getting downhill and finishing around the rim he's very acrobatic can finish with both hands he's also added the floater to his game and then also he's adapted to the modern nba he's really worked on his three-point shot and he's a very formidable three-point shooter and we all know 
Derrick Rose is nowhere near the player he was in his MVP days, but he's still a very solid backup point guard. He's proved that in New York and in Detroit over these last four years. He's been averaging 16 points per game to go along with four assists. So I think not only would he be giving the Phoenix Suns a scoring threat, but he will also be coming in and giving them a playmaking threat as well. So I would love to pick up of Derrick Rose for the Phoenix Suns. Now the last player we're gonna be looking at for today's video is gonna be Eric Gordon from the Houston Rockets. And he's actually one of the more popular off-season targets for a lot of contending NBA teams. A lot of teams wanna get their hands on Eric Gordon. And I think he can come in and provide some huge scoring help for the Phoenix Suns. And looking at Eric Gordon, I think there's so much to love about him. And of course we love his game and his skill set but one thing I love about Eric Gordon is the mindset that he brings to the game of basketball watching him in the Houston Rockets glory days when they were competing with James Harden and making the playoffs watching it watching Eric Gordon during that time frame he never seemed rattled he always seemed poised he never seemed afraid of the moment and he always wanted to take the big shots and I love when players have those mindsets and then we look at the actual skill set of Eric Gordon since he's coming to the NBA he's always been able to score the basketball he's a three level scorer he can knock down that three point shot off the catch and off the dribble he can get to the mid range and knock down shots in that area and then he's really good at finishing around the rim he can dunk the ball he can finish with both hands finish through contact he can make some acrobatic layups and then also he can navigate the pick and roll as a scorer and as a facilitator and then he can also get a bucket in isolation and then also another key factor about Eric Gordon is that he's going to be able to play both on the ball and off the ball for the Phoenix Suns and I think that's going to be very very key and then you're also getting a pretty solid defender for Eric Gordon I feel like that's always been an underrated part of his game but he plays some intense defense and he has some really good lateral quickness so those are three guys that I think the Phoenix Suns could add this offseason to make them a better team and notice how none of those three guys are currently superstars or all stars because me personally I think the Phoenix Suns looking at their roster I don't think they need a superstar or another all-star to make them championship contenders I really like the core that they have right now and they're coming off a season where they won 64 games and then they still have Chris Paul Devin Booker DeAndre Ayton Michael Bridges they still have one of the best teams in the Western Conference so I don't think they need to make a big play for a player like Kevin Durant but adding one of those three guys Bogdanovich D Rose or Eric Gordon I think it would make the Phoenix Suns a lot better because they will be giving them something that they need and I think they need some more independent shot creation but that's going to be it for this video if you guys enjoyed please leave a like comment down below who you think the Phoenix Suns should be pursuing this offseason and then subscribe subscribe for more weekly content we do this all the time man and that's curtains